Hello friends, welcome to HTML tutorial series. I double click on default.html page. I right click on the default.html page open with the notepad. We are learning HTML forms. In the previous tutorial we understood that form tag is a container for all form elements or form controls. This name is used for identifying the form and accessing the form in a processing page or code then there are two methods get method and a post method through which we can send the data to the server or processing page let's proceed further here i am going to give a heading to the form using h1 tag i say here data entry form closing h1 tag file save go to browser refresh Next, I am going to use a paragraph tag. I say here user name colon. Then I close the paragraph tag. File save. As h1 tag is a block level tag, it takes the entire width of the browser window, and the paragraph user name is going to displayed below the data entry form. If I refresh, you can see that user name got displayed below the data entry form. Then I want to accept. the value from the user that is his username if i need to accept text from the user i need to create a text control or input text box to create a input text box i need to use a tag called as input now input is unpaid tag so i am going to say forward slash greater than input has an attribute called as type to that i can give a value i am going to give the value text what it does means it creates a text box if i refresh you can see that the text box got created below the username text the reason is paragraph tag is also block level tag so it takes the entire width of the browser window moves the text box down you can see that input type text created the text box right and i can enter here the value now m a n j u n a t h manjunath chidre you can see that we can be able to enter the text we can be able to remove the text this is how you can create a text box there are few more attributes we are going to learn in this class next attribute is the name of course one of the most important attribute we must and should give name to every input control because name is the one by which we can identify that input control and access that input control into the code and process here i am going to give a name i am going to follow the camel case naming convention first i give prefix txt txt stands for text box frm stands for form then i give the text box name that is user name then i am going to give id in double quotations i am going to give the same name i am going to copy this and paste over here control v file save now we have two ways to access this text box i can use this text box or access this text box in the code either by using the name or by using the id two ways are there to access this control next attribute i am going to discuss is value now value indicates the default value or value of the text box if i say value equal to double quotation double quotation that indicates the value is empty there is no value in the text box file save go to browser refresh you can see that nothing is displayed if i enter some value maybe m a n j u manju is the default value for this text box i can say file save go to browser refresh you can see that manju is getting displayed i am going to remove this file save go to browser refresh now value is removed next attribute i am going to add is place holder p l a c e place holder place holder is one of the most important attribute with the text box here we can give a value like enter your name this enter your name is going to be displayed in a gray color within the text box refresh you can see that enter your name is getting displayed that is just an information for the user 
this is not going to be a value for the text box once the user enters maybe manjunath chidre this is going to become the value of the text box guys placeholder is just for the user information what user need to do he has to enter his name here that's what the placeholder indicates i am going to give the next attribute that is max length l e n g t h max length i am going to give 12 if i say max length 12 that means the text box is going to accept only 12 characters let's see that m a n j u n a t h c h i d r e you can see that it is not accepting more than 12 characters maximum you can enter 12 characters let me remove this next attribute i am going to discuss which is one of the most important that is called as uh, disabled if i add disabled attribute say file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the text box is now disabled it is in the gray color i cannot be able to enter the text it is not possible so you can disable the control by using the attribute called as disabled hope you guys have understood how you can create a text box what is the purpose of each attribute and how it works for this tutorial this much is enough guys in the next tutorial we get more information on html forms for more benefits please subscribe like comment and share see you in the next tutorial keep learning keep coding keep sharing